Hello guys, welcome back to my first video of uh, the series where I'll cover how to get full marks in Geography A level in your NEA. So for context, I did the NEA in 2023, so I completed my A levels between 2022 to 2023. I did my NEA, got full marks, and I'm just here to share some tips and tricks. And this first video will be about how to do, or how to choose the title of your investigation really. Yeah, so just a quick disclaimer beforehand, I did Edexcel. And yeah, so all these tips are very geared towards Edexcel in general. So just be warned, your example might be slightly different. Yeah, and also I do tend to bend the rules quite a bit with the NEA. I did some interesting stuff that I bent. But yeah, not every NEA follows the rules. And another big thing is do not listen to that 4,000 word count limit or benchmark of how long it should be i think it's a terrible benchmark i i don't think anyone in my year that did well did 4k and did well so yeah as you can see i wrote 15.9k and i got four marks all right so before choosing your title you should think about which one you want to do so choosing physical versus human obviously you want to choose the most exciting one where both aren't very exciting admittedly you will spend a long time on this, so just choose which one seems most interesting. If you like rocks, go for physical. If you like regeneration, go for human, and etc. And there's a massive misconception about physical geography. NEAs are very easy or easier, but this is very subjective again. Don't listen to them. And another thing, I've seen people trying to incorporate both, which is just stupid in my opinion. Just way too much cover and you'll end up having a very shallow analysis because you have so much to cover. And final point, simple equals better. We're A-level students at the end of the day. We're not doing a degree, we're not paying for anything. So just keep it simple and you don't need to do a new groundbreaking discovery in geography. You're looking to just to regurgitate information that you find on the internet. And that's essentially what I'm gonna tell you how to do in these next upcoming videos. All right, so if you are looking at physical geography for your NEA title, there are obviously advantages and disadvantages. So the biggest advantage I'll say of uh, physical is the methods are very easy to complete and you don't really need to twist them because of it. it's just quite objective data. Yeah, and that leads into the second point. Since it's so objective, the data, your conclusions are very valid and they're just easier to do less viewpoints easier blah 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 yes and yeah there's less interaction with people i know some people who found it nerve-wracking to go up to people and interview them so if you're someone that's introverted yeah go for physical all right now for the disadvantages it is very boring to look at trees rivers and soil for three months of your life or how lo however long you're spending on it anyway and yeah just one-dimensional analysis means that it's harder to produce an advanced argument. So yeah, a big part of geography is players and how they affect geography or the local climate or the economy. And with physical geography, it's quite hard to find that stuff. All right, now moving on to human geography, which is what I did. I think it, this is the smart play to go because you can waffle so much, talk about so much. But the biggest advantage would be you can forge data. You can manipulate data and yeah, you can make it just not, I'm not telling you to make up data, but your data can be twisted in a way so you can make easier analysis. And another one is so many viewpoints you can take. You can take viewpoints on player number one, player number two, and you can just create loads of different arguments, loads of different analysis and loads of little evaluative points that you'll get you the maximum marks. Now for the disadvantages, but data is very subjective, it's, it's basically subjective. So there's just actually like, I remember when I was doing this, I was looking at town center and different players and there were just so many to consider. And yeah, it was, it was quite tough. There's a lot more work as a result. And yeah, you should, it's not as one dimensional as physical geography. So you need more complex analysis and evaluations. Number two, subjective data again, means that yeah, data collection, it's very hard. It's not very hard, but it's harder to do since it's subjective and there's so many little like 
anomalies you need to account for and how to explain them. So yeah, I'll say data collection for human geography is definitely harder as you have to consider many different factors. And some general tips for, for choosing your title would be be specific on the area of study, location, and topic. And I'll show you examples on the later slides, but choose a broad topic so you can break it down into sub questions. So yeah, your overall NEA is focused and not on a tangent somewhere else. So yeah, I think a broad topic is definitely the play to go as you can break it down, talk about so many different things. Um, yeah. Now, this is an example taken from my NEA. And so it reads, how has has regeneration in every town center impacted the well-being of people? All right, so starting from the left, notice how I chose regeneration as my main topic. This is a very broad topic. So regeneration can be broken down to economic, environmental, social, what else? Uh, just so many different sectors. And this makes it easier to focus the investigation as a whole and thus create a very focused NEA, which is what examiners like. And then also you should definitely choose a location because that just makes your life easier for you. You're not going to be able to study England in three months, but you can study a little town centre as I have done. And make sure a big point for me is don't just say Leatherhead Town. Say a specific, specific part of the Leatherhead since Leatherhead or just any little town is actually quite big if you actually go to it so choose a correct location a decently sized small location which you can do all your data collection everything in one location which makes it easier and the final bit i would say is you also have to make it specific whilst being broad you have to focus your NEA back on a specific topic which in this case is well-being and again it's it's broad but it's still specific because you can break it down into social, economic, physical, blah, blah, well-being. And here's some notes. Yeah, as I said before, this title is not perfect. Obviously, I wrote people. You can go as far as to say how has regeneration affected local businessmen. I think that's an easier one since you, there's less viewpoints you need to take and there's a lot more focus. And yeah, I said town centre. You need to define your limits. Otherwise, it's going to be very unfocused. And uh, These falls can be discussed in the evaluation. And yeah, just need to make sure your investigation is achievable and always think of methods beforehand. All right, that's the end.